the zombuary. And by welcome, I mean I hope you enjoyed it because it's kind of almost over. And by I hope you enjoyed it, I mean I hope you watched Hazel, a.k.a. Chewing Sands, new short film, Super Brain New Zombies, because it's legitimately one of the coolest things on YouTube right now. So just click here to check it out. I highly recommend it. In honor of her new film, Hazel declared January to be zombie month. Hence, zombuary. And she's encouraged everyone to participate. So this is me participating. I think it took me such a long time to make this video because I couldn't really think of anything to talk about regarding zombies. Like, they aren't very exciting or dynamic creatures, they're just kind of like, meh. But then I realized that when you start thinking about the psychology that surrounds the idea of zombies, it can be really interesting. For example, there has been a huge rise in the popularity of zombies in pop culture recently. Like, there have been so many movies, TV shows, video games released in the last five to ten years that have to do with the zombie apocalypse. Zombies aren't cute, they aren't pretty, they aren't funny, they aren't lovable, they aren't particularly good at anything, unless they're Michael Jackson zombies, in which case, you know. Yeah, anyway, they're basically just gross, decaying corpses that can walk and seem to have the only mission of creating more zombies. So why is it that zombies have become so popular lately? And of all possible monsters out there, why zombies specifically? I personally think it's because we're starting to identify with zombies. In the 70s, when a few notorious serial killers were starting to make big headlines, slasher films featuring psychopathic killers became popular. And in anti-communist, McCarthyist, second Red Scare era America, lots of movies focused on alien invasions. So how do we relate to zombies now? I think it's a combination of technology and how fast-paced our society has become. Calm down, I'm not gonna lecture you on how our constant habit of picking up our iPhones in public places is turning us into zombies. I just think that iPhones are very similar to zombies. Both don't have consciousness and run on programs. Zombies are programmed to eat brains, and iPhones are programmed to give us directions to places when we ask and send messages to people. And they're both easily destroyed if hit in the right place with a bat. And with technology progressing at the rapid rate that it is, it's almost scary to think what it could be like in 10 years. We have made it such an integral part in our lives that it could easily destroy us. Like zombies. And like I said, our society's becoming so fast-paced that it almost feels like we're all turning into zombies anyway. Like, we're born, we're put into school, we're told we have to go get a job, get married, have kids, and then die. So I think in that sense we relate to zombies in multiple ways, and I think that's why they're so prevalent right now. Another interesting thing to think about is what you would do in a zombie apocalypse, and I don't mean like where you would hide or what your weapon of choice would be, but I mean if you could actually get yourself to kill a zombie especially if that zombie used to be your friend. Hazel actually touches on this briefly in her film. After half of her friends get turned into zombies, she decides to make a vlog. I mean, what else would a YouTuber do during a zombie apocalypse, right? But while she's talking to the camera, she says that she can't really imagine killing her friends, and then she asks herself if they are actually still her friends now that they're zombies. And this brings up the question, are zombies still people? Have they lost their identity just because they lost their consciousness? And what if they were zombies but they didn't look all dead and gross? What if they looked just like us? I mean, human minds change all the time. I'm certainly not the same person up here that I was when I was five, but I'm still Marissa. The only thing that's changed about these zombies is their minds, so could you really justify killing them? Let me know down there in the comments what your thoughts are on killing zombies. Like, seriously, I studied philosophical zombies in my philosophy class, and I love talking about it, so share your opinions, and we can have a discussion on killing people, and consciousness, and dualism, and all that good stuff. It'll be fun. Yeah. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Then you come home one day and tell your parents that you really want to be a painter. And they give you that small, sympathetic smile and say, you need to find a more practical career. One that you can really make money with. I am a zombie.